Hello Virgos, bonus video time per your request. Let's get into it Virgos, let's get right into it. Hopefully you all are having a great day. Hopefully you all are having a stress-free day as much as you possibly can. Let's get into it Virgos. This is a general reading, take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Like I said, bonus video time. This is a requested bonus video. Virgos, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity in every area of your lives. Your ruling planet, Mercury, is retrograde. That's right. I see you in celebration mode, right? Here we have the Three of Cups. Here we have the Nine of Swords, the High Priest, the Wisdom card, the Ten of Wands, and also the Five of Wands. Well, all right now, here we have the Three of Cups leading, leading the reading. Here we have the Nine of Swords. Here we have the High Priest. We have the Wisdom card. Yes. Uh-huh. We also have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Five of Wands, right? So I feel like uh, looking at your cards here, I see you celebrating moving. I feel, I feel like somebody's relocating. I see you being... Booked and busy. Source is going to make sure somebody's uh, uh, booked and busy and not burdened by, you know, carrying other people's internal battles and their internal fights about just like their traditions, their rules, how they do things, like their, the way that they're structured. I see you releasing all of that in, off of your internal scales, right? So this could be people who are deeply religious, um, or whether they have their traditions and they don't align with where yours is. I definitely see somebody, God is going to make sure you kept, you are kept booked and busy so that, you know, on your journey, you have enough to, you have enough to do that you're not burdened by people's bitterness, people's internal fighting, right? So here we have this internal fight and just like a whole lot of stuff going back and forth, right? But it's really their internal, their internal uh, fear, doubt, uncertainty. When I say demons, that's what I'm talking about. Their internal fear, doubt, you know, uncertainty. Uh, they are, they are kind of stuck on just like just being unclear as to what their purpose on the planet is. So, you know, how some people, they feel like they live by a set of rules and they can't, they, there's, there's no room for growth, no room for adaptability, right? Which is what your ruling planet really teaches us messages for God, from God, Right. Mercury is the messenger of God planet. It's the um, communication planet. It's the planet of opinion, factual memory. It's the, um, it's the planet of sibling relationships. It's the planet of trade, travel, commerce, all of those things. So when planets go retrograde, that's a really good thing. I know you people have a lot of negative stuff about retrograde, but planets don't move backwards and they don't move at, this, at a slower pace. But it gives you an opportunity to really process how you send out messages to the universe and what comes back to you as a result of what you're sending out and what you've absorbed in your soil and the seeds that you planted as an earth sign. So I'm talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. Even if Virgo is your MC or IC, I am talking to you. And if you want to know what that means, I have that information on my second channel. It's called the Knowledge Channel. So somebody is getting away from all the internal fighting you know, of just like, should I, should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? The longer you sit there stuck in that mindset, the more you'll start to doubt yourself. So start thinking, so this is three of cups, start thinking source in advance. Me, myself, and I, there's the, the um, three, me, myself, and I, this, somebody said, I'm leaving, I'm awakening from a nightmare of some things that I'm leaving behind. As disappointing as some, it, some stuff is, somebody could have two fire signs going at it within themselves. See, there's two people right here going at it. I'm telling y'all, I can't, I can't even stress this enough. Some people thrive off of drama. Misery loves company. I know people have heard this, but some people can, I'm telling you, this uh, this total solar eclipse, that portal is already opening. It's some people that's going for it in their spirit. I mean, they are sticks and stones coming at each other. Going, I mean, and it's really, it's not funny at all. It's actually pretty sad. And you're grateful to get away from that type of energy. You're grateful to get away from that type of energy because they, they are like stuck. Like they feel like they got to bully people into... 
They got to bully people into being a certain way. It's just draining. It, it is just flat out draining. You're dealing with very narcissistic energies that you're leaving behind. Here we have three, four of swords, three of swords, nine of swords, eight of swords, justice card, and the ace of pentacles. You're saying to yourself, you're no longer doing an injustice to yourself at all. For real. These two cards right here are ruled by Venus, right? So Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, um, attractions, erotic love, all of those things, right? It's also a peacemaker planet. Venus rules these two signs um, in a different way. But for uh, Libra, we had a full moon in a, in a penumbral uh, lunar eclipse on the 25th of March. For Libra, it, it, um, it rules it in a way that Libra is a... Um, like I said, desires, justice, peace, beauty, you know, that kind of a world, like they, that universe, right? The universe in your world, your world would be your physical body. Your universe would be your mind, right? So sources say, you know, you're, you're not, you said, I'm not doing any injustices to myself anymore. I'm physically moving away from this type of stuff. I'm not going to sit here and keep dealing with this. Here we also have the Ace of Pentacles. And so you got to ask yourself, what is the motive? What's the motive that I keep giving that I that I was so indecisive about staying in a nightmare. But part of it is because you have a big heart. That's part of it because you love deep and you love hard. And of course the physical existence for my earth signs of like being connected to like this, um, the physical things like, okay, I've been around these people my whole life or I've been friends with this person for a great deal number of my years. But you, somebody has come to the realization that I have to move beyond this because I don't, the next moment isn't promised to anybody. And I'd be darned if I'm going to spend my next moment in an internal struggle and fight with energies who are committed, miserable, and they want my company. Uh-uh. I'm not, I'm committed to not being miserable. Three, four, eight, and nine of swords. Like I said, two situations in particular have been complete and total nightmares. And where it starts is in the womb from both sides of the family, Right. And so it's, let's say you have parents that stay connected to nightmares in their own family and God kept telling them to get away, take the kids and freaking run, get out of there, right? And let's say your family's like, oh, family over everything and this is tradition and family, but you were miserable. You're going to be the person in the family that's going to break all that up. It's like you came through with a, with a, um, like with a, a sledgehammer and just broke all of that up. And so source is saying, you are saying you're not letting these people drive you crazy anymore. You're not going to end up in a straight jacket because people can't stop, you know, creating a bunch of drama. And so if you came from that family where your family was like, you got to stay connected to, you got to stay connected to your trauma. These are the types of energies that will call you a narcissist if you stay connected. Well, you know, I just got to take the high road and that's just how people are. And this is just a stuff that they will call you a narcissist. They like, what is wrong? How come Virgo still stays connected to that kind of stuff? And again, I'm talking to you, not just if your sun sign is Virgo. Okay, wherever Virgo is in your birth chart, people will consider you as a narcissist. They like, why is Virgo complaining about this but why won't virgo use that power that power and that intellect and cut them off like why won't so, uh, virgo pull out the sword of truth and cut some energies off right so source is saying to you it's an injustice to stay connected to bullying types of energies is their way of the highway it's hard for them to move be it's hard for them to change their mindset that's an injustice towards you they want to come back and tell you just how imperfect you are and how much patience they've had with you. Is it they're your God? Okay, that was a choice if they want to have patience with you. And that's part of the mind control. That's part of the mind. They had so much patience with you and they want to remind you of how imperfect you and your family are. Okay, welcome to earth. Everybody's family is imperfect. What is perfection anyway? That don't even make it. Anyway, so source is saying to you, yeah. You are, you're definitely um, grateful. You're speaking it into existence. Your words create your reality. So sources of saying, you've already talked enough nightmare talk, right? You've already seen Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and whatever, the Candyman, everybody. You saw it, the clown that came out of the sewer. You saw all of that, right? Sources of saying, but now where you are, you're saying, I'm just cutting people off. Let people think what they want to think. They can believe what they want to believe. I'm not here to clear up anything. If that's what you believe, 
Six plus six is 695. Hey, let's go with that answer because I'm not here to clear up anything. I'm gone. I'm the deuces. You are not disrupting my peace anymore. I'm taking all of that mess off of my internal scales. That cutthroat behavior, all of that. So somebody is in somebody is in rare form. All right. Okay. Fist bump. <laughs> somebody is in rare form. Okay, uh, Virgo. Y'all tired of that? Y'all saying I'm not, not living, I'm not reliving nightmares. There's a bunch of arguing and fighting going on. And I don't want to be a part of that. Leave my name off the family list. Please just take my name off the list. Just get a big eraser and just erase my name off the list. Here we have the four of swords. So yeah, you just you're determined to get some rest. You're like, I'm I'm getting away from this. Because something on both sides has just been driving somebody crazy. And it's been a nightmare. You've already moved on from the disappointment. And you ain't coming back. You're not coming back. So, happy relocating. People hold you in very high regard. And they see you as down to earth and relatable. But everybody wants to, you know, be in your ear about this gossip, that gossip, this and that. Because you all are ruled by Mercury. So they're thinking, okay, well, Virgo can handle it. and But people never consider your wounds. So who really is the narcissist? You know what I'm saying? Like they never considered your wounds, uh, Virgo. So they're the one that's narcissistic because they keep bringing it to you like you did counselor, you did doctor, you did lawyer, you did savior. So it's just saying, uh-uh, nope. The motive is your time. They want to be connected to, or they want somebody who they feel like can validate their feelings, but they won't go get some help. Yeah, because if, I mean, if, if Virgo said it, it's true, you know, because Virgo, you know, my, my cousin Virgo is this, they accomplished, they this and that and so on and so forth, or, you know, they hold you in high regard, but they never, it was like a person who keeps taking, taking, taking from you, but never makes a deposit. They look at you as the bank of the family. They look at you as like, okay, I can always depend on, you know, uh, Virgo to give me their time slash money. They look at you as a bank. They keep withdrawing and all they bring you back in return is a bunch of hurt. Not even considering that that hurt, you've been carrying their hurt for years to a point of almost breaking and going crazy. I'm going to tell you people, <laughs> but not anymore. They about to get a major wake up call and you about to be ka -ching, very, very wealthy. Seven of pentacles. So I definitely see somebody saying you're planting seeds somewhere else. You're getting away from that. You, you'd rather use all your brain power to focus on multiple streams of income, helping other people adjust their crown. You're getting away from a nightmare. Mm -mm -mm. Here's the magician card. You're getting a lot of messages coming through, making you wiser and wiser and wiser. I'm going to tell you something. That's why some of y'all are about to learn. That's why some people cut their entire families off. And I'm not saying that y'all going to cut your entire family off. But some of y'all have learned from other people that guess what? Life is better without carrying all of that drama and unnecessary hurt and pain and all that other stuff. They're they responsible for their own stuff. These are loved ones. That's why you got so much head and heart at war with each other. These are loved ones. And so and that's why you got so much money here because so as I said, you've learned so much. You can write books, screenplays, all kinds of stuff. See, some people get away from that kind of stuff and they, they turn that into jobs for other people, you know, opportunities for other people in the form of job and helping them to keep a roof over their head and send their kids to school and that kind of stuff. And some people sit in that and start drinking or going on and get on medication or even put you know, in um, in a padded room somewhere. And guess what? These same loved ones that you have been head and heart at war with each other, they will step right over your body and go to the next supply. Who else, is, who else can I dump all of this hurt into their universe? So somebody is done. Somebody is like, I'm cutting everybody. I'm, I'm Hey, sword is out. The sword of truth is out. So when you come across people, see, now you, somebody won't judge people who cut the, when, you know, you hear people say, oh, family over everything. Now somebody's going to really understand what it means to say, okay, enough is enough. I got to say, only savior I have is myself. That source is source inside of you. So yeah, it's two situations. Like I said, you and somebody, you and somebody are, like I said before, going to become very, very wealthy, booked and busy. You're planting seeds somewhere else. You're getting away from some energies, booked and double booked and busy and not burdened at all while people are duking it out. And guess what's going to happen? You're quietly exiting your life away from people. You're quietly getting away from some energies. And when they start, when they come up from, you know, the knots on their head and waking up in cold sweats and cutting each other out and doing, when they get up from all of that fighting and they realize that you're no longer around, then all of a sudden, guess what? What they're going to say? 
about you. Oh yeah, you know Virgo was crazy. <laughs> so it's almost like <laughs> You got to love the human race for real. And just all the frailties. It's like you can have the, like I said, you were looking at what you have in common, you know, with loved ones. But all they could see was just all the internal fighting. That's why some people, when they come to funerals and stuff, they're like, yeah, we got, let's all exchange numbers. We got to, we got to get together. Like we, we, we got to stop all of this. <laughs> we got to stop just coming together when somebody at a funeral, you know, it, but then go right back to the, the internal fighting. Just the, and I'm talking about internal fight within themselves. Yeah, we got we to gotta get together. Or if somebody, well, if they can make it to a wedding because unless it's some kind of drama at the wedding, people just, some people show up for anything that's dramatic. So if they feel like, okay, somebody ex is going to show up at the wedding. Oh, I didn't get an invitation. Let me invite myself to the wedding. They don't care about the two people. That's their sacred day, their sacred time. They don't care about any of that kind of stuff. Just like some people don't care about your wounds. They don't care. Just keep working, working, working until you work yourself into the ground and then see what you left them. That's it. That's why some people stay connected to you because they want to, I just want to make sure my name is on the list. Mm, mm, mm. what I say? Trash talking. Just madness. And the sad thing about it is that the longer you look for their approval and their acceptance, the harder it's going to be for you to relocate and move and plant seeds somewhere else. And they know it. And we have the Ace of Wands. So I definitely see somebody says, you know what? Bump that. I saw this video. That's all I need to see. Or you could have watched somebody else's video. Your vulnerability is your strength. Your vulnerability is your strength. Hey, you they, the way you got to your throne of King and Queen of Pentacles was on your own heart, blood, sweat, and tears. They got 24 hours in a day if you're measuring time just like you do. and But they use, they'd rather use their time swinging bats. <laughs> God, I tell you, people are trip. They would rather use their time swinging bats, gossiping, talking trash. <laughs> oh my God, Page of Wands, you're gonna feel a whole lot stronger away from those energies. I'm telling you, that's why that's why somebody is no longer gonna judge people who cut their entire family off because they're like, you know what, I understand. <laughs> That's why somebody is going to be so clear as to why some people cut their exes off for good. Like, I don't want to be your friend. Um, we don't need to connect. Whatever you said about me, hey, let's go with that. Let's go with that narrative. I ain't trying to clear nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to tell you. Whew, people are trip. Ah, so yeah, so congratulations on somebody who's relocating, but it's a, it's a whole big thing with this because again, this sword and, and all this fire and this is, these swords can be very traumatic, you know? So the super new you is like, I'm not looking back. I don't care what y'all tell people. You can tell people that you crazy, you bet stuff crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like people just say, what they <laughs> oh my God, people can say what they want to say, but you are expanding. You and somebody y'all expanding. Any positive project, any any positive changes or projects that you're considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. That's why some of y'all are going to look at certain family members and be like, I now understand. I didn't understand at first. Because sometimes you put, you're in a position where you feel like, well, you know what? Maybe they were weak. Maybe I believe the stories that I heard about people. They run at the first sign of trouble. You know, some of y'all believe that about your own family members. Maybe, okay, they moved away and I heard all these stories because they call them crazy. <laughs> they call them crazy too. <laughs> God, I'm going to tell you, family members can be hilarious. When you really sit down and heal from all that, when you think back. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> so work through your fears. <laughs> Lord have mercy. 
Oh my God. Let me tell you something. Families, I mean, I know everybody loves their family, but you got to take it to agape love for real because that's why it's going to make so much sense to some of you all. And it's always a core group of, it's not even everybody, it's a core group of. They just a hot mess. Oh, oh my goodness. And here you are abundant. That's why they want to stay connected to you because you put yourself through school. You purchase your property. You did a whole lot of things that they're very proud of, but they just, they don't, they never stop to consider how much pain they've caused you by dumping trash in your universe. They don't care. They don't care if it affects, they don't care what kind of day you had at work. Matter of fact, <laughs> it's, it's Oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, matter of fact, you could have had the worst day at work. Some of them know ex it's like they got a like they got a like they got a chip in you, like they got a location device on you. As soon as you sit down in your house, like, whoo, okay. Or as soon as you close your laptop, okay, my day has ended. Hear their phone, ring a ling a ling. That's them. They call. They call them with a bunch of trash. They didn't ask you how your day was. Or if they ask you how your day was, they rush you before you can even get the full answer out to see if you even want to talk about your day. They don't want to hear about it because they so busy trying to dump trash. <laughs> so when I tell you that you're saying I'm no longer doing it justice to myself, now it's going to make sense. I'm telling you, it's heightening your awareness. I'm telling you. See, a lot of people walk into situations judgmental. They look at it as like, oh, they couldn't handle what I can handle, you know. And maybe, you know, sometimes people do that when they feel like, okay, the exes couldn't handle a situation or family members are weak because they couldn't handle a bunch of... But I'm telling you, misery loves company and you are tired of being miserable, being being connected to certain people. I, I'm telling you, you're like, I'm not, uh-uh. I got to choose me. Y'all can say what you want to say, but I, I got to choose me. Tell whoever you want to tell, and I don't care what you tell them. That's the frequency that y'all are on. So kudos and congratulations to you because somebody's planted to see somewhere else away from all of this mess. Close out the cycle in love. I'm serious. Cl just close it out in love. Don't forget, to, um, don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. So please rest. You inspired them to heal. I remember doing a video for you all one time, Virgo, and I was telling y'all that this one act is going to cause your whole, it's going to send your whole family into therapy. It was either you or another sign, but I think you're, you had a video like that's, that's along the same line. Why they sitting there fighting and one day, once they come up from swinging bats and swords and blow torches at each other and they're going to realize, oh my God, has anybody talked to Virgo? Your number has been changed. You have physically relocated. You have moved on to greener pastures for real. And guess what you're wealthiest in? Peace. A peace of mind. That's what you wealthiest in. You're like, I'm leaving all that behind. Y'all religious beliefs, the y'all, y'all, all of this mess. So you inspired a whole lot of people to heal when you moved on. I'm telling you. Now everybody got to sit and talk with themselves. First, they're going to call you crazy. What's the name of the movie? Uh, what's the name of the movie? Uh, with uh, What's his name? Morgan Freeman played in. First, they called me crazy. First, they called me Batman. Then they called me crazy. Whatever the line was in the movie. But Source is saying that's how you are, you are almost... I can't say that you're forcing people to heal, but you're inspiring people to heal. So you're not forcing anything because they, they like to, it's like a, people who like to battle and they like to fight. They like to argue. That's a battle within themselves for real. So you said, you know what? I know exactly what I need to do. I, I need to stop talking about it and I need to put one foot in front of the other. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Somebody's a succubus. And so your inner child is very, very proud of you. And I'm talking about whoever they're connected to, like <clears throat> a succubus is a sex demon, right? Specifically a female sex demon. So it could be a, it could be, 
It could be a man that has a problem with his sexuality that keeps a bunch of mess going on. Or it could be a woman that's uh, have an issue with her sexuality. That just keeps, it's just like it's a demon. A demon just roams to and fro looking for a host. Looking for a host. So I know you hear, you know, and I have a whole, the whole section about incubus and succubus on my second channel. The, the link is below, you know, male demons, uh, male, male, uh, male sex demon is called incubus. Female demon is called a, um, a succubus. But it could be a man. It could be like, I get this right here. You see this man right here. It could be a man, a divine feminine man who has sex demons. Like they, they cannot, it's like they have to, it's like they have to keep sleeping with a bunch of women to prove their manhood in a sense, but really it's something else going on with them. Like a person who has to just keep on just, or it could be somebody and they, they're transferring that energy to you. So they'll try to say to you, you know, whether you're a man or a woman doesn't really matter. They'll try to say to you, Oh, well, Oh, uh, you, you, um, that's your, that's your demon too. Like they, like I said before, you done. You done with that. Here we have the booked and busy, not burden at all. Like I said in the beginning of your reading, booked and busy. The new one is extra special. Now it's going to make so much sense. So take a leap of faith, not a leap of fear. You're moving on from them. It's time for you to open up your vault door. I'm telling you, that's why somebody's going to stop, you know, like harshly judging other people for leaving situations and moving on and comparing yourself to people and that kind of stuff. Because until you walk the mile in people's ancestral childhood family shoes, we ain't talking about just physically here on earth to see why they are the way that they are. Some people won't give people, you get one chance to mess up and I'm out. Do, I'm deuces, I'm out. Because you don't know what kind of heaviness people have been carrying on their shoulders. And so, source is saying to you, you cutting some people off. You you cutting some people off permanently. And when they when they get when they come when they come to their senses with their internal struggle and internal battles about whatever it is that they're going through, and they're gonna love, well, I was patient with you, and everybody has problems, and you didn't stick in there with me. No, you're not putting that kind of spell on me. Uh, -uh. no sir, no ma'am. Yeah, 999, nine, nine, nine. I am unique. There it is. And that's what it is. Your uniqueness is what they want to stay connected to. But they're thinking that you're supposed to, you're supposed to just break your back and go crazy. I'm telling you, you were sitting in a room right now with, with the, your arms tied behind your back in a padded room. They will look at you and go find another supply. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. They want to be connected to your greatness, but they're not even trying to heal themselves. They want you to do all the blood, sweat, and tears and want you to be want to be connected. To, mm -mm. They in for a rude awakening. I'm telling you, some people are in for a very rude awakening. And and they will they not even see it coming. They so busy playing games. They think they have so much mind control over you and how, oh yeah, and if people knew this about you, Virgo, they wouldn't treat you, they wouldn't look at you as the, the king and queen of pentacles and they knew this. So what? Some people know everything about you and they still love you. So forget all of that. They're going to fall on their own sword. Watch. They're going to fall on their own sword. Hey, six of pentacles. Again, like I said, you're not looking for their approval. There's two types of energies in particular. You're not looking for their approval. People always like to use that. It, well, if people knew this about you, they end up hurting themselves. So guess what you're doing? Letting go. I release what I can't control. I let go. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. Well, it seems like you, it's a win-win for you. Failure. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a win-win for you because once you sit down and recognize how big your heart is and how much of a giver you are and how many chances you've given to people over and over and over again, you won't judge another person again for cutting people off. You'd be like, no, nah, I understand. I understand. I, I overstand it. I get it. I get it. It makes perfect sense. So, yeah. Some people have lost their natural mind. Here we have... <laughs> Here we have inner power. Give me the courage to and the power to do what must be done. And I, hey, listen, and I second that for real because 
there's some people, like I said, you're unique, you're expanding, you're leaving the past behind, and a lot of people are going to say a lot of things about you, so get your get yourselves ready. But the thing about that is, though, is once you commit to leaving that outside of your universe, it's just like when you go to bed at night, you don't know what's going on on the other side of that portal, that front door. You don't care. You don't know. It's not that you don't care. That's why people pray for world peace, but you don't you don't concern yourself with it. You say, okay, I'm, I'm resting. I'm letting this thing rest in peace. I'm moving forward. That's what I have for you. So like I said, happy relocating for somebody you know happy leaving people outside your vault door you're not looking for anybody's approval their acceptance they don't know what's going on inside your vault door and they sitting out there hating outside of your vault door they don't have nothing to do with you i'll see you in the next reading bye